in this imaginary but plausible scenario, we are going to style nested unordered list items three levels deep using only vanilla CSS. In this scenario, we are not allowed to modify the HTML and we are not allowed to use JavaScript. This could be because you're a consultant slash contractor or the team responsible for the HTML template is external to our organization and therefore we cannot modify the HTML structure of this template. Since this is a CSS quick hit video, for simplicity's sakes, I'm going to put the CSS code in the head section inside of the style tag. So what we are going to do is set the first level list item font weight to bold, set the second level list item font weight to normal and font style to italic, and set the third level list item font style to normal and text decoration to underline. I'm going to show you two ways to accomplish this. The first is the more declarative approach using the descendant combinator, where essentially you're selecting the, um, the, the parent, the ancestor element, in this case it's the UL, this UL here, and then, um, and then selecting its child element with a space in between. Okay, so now you see the bow, uh, the all all the list item font weight are bold. That's only because we haven't applied the other style. So for the second level, we we'll set the font weight to normal and the font style to italic. Okay, starting to take shape as you can see there. And now for the third level LI, okay, and because it is the declarative approach, okay, you don't have to be as explicit in specifying each ancestral relationship, which is to say parent, child, parent, child, parent, child, or parent, child, grandparents, grandchild, etc., etc. Okay, and there you go. The first LY is bold, the second level LY is italic, and the third levels are underlined with normal, okay, with, uh, with normal um, font style. There is another way that we can achieve this, and it's a more, I would say, uh, imperative approach, and that is to use the child combinator. Okay, well, you're specifying um, the elements relationship inside of the DOM, and it will look something like that. Okay, as you can see here on the browser, in the, on the browser side, you get the exact same approach. Okay, this obviously, the declarative op uh, method is obviously a little bit more verbose. Now I will say that the imperative approach is a tiny bit faster in performance for lookup than the declarative approach. However, in the grand scheme of things, the difference is very minuscule. The more important um, efficiency is the interaction between uh, JavaScript and CSS, and specifically how you um, how you apply CSS selector inside of your JavaScript. That's where the uh, performance hit uh, is more likely to occur. There is an engineer who used to be chief performance engineer at Google and Yahoo who wrote on this particular subject matter. His name is Steve Suter. I will link uh, his article, his research on CSS selector performance in the description below. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.